Hey YouTube, I'm Frankie Seshi and today I'm going to be showing you how you can listen to game audio and music from your iPod at the same time on your Xbox One. In this tutorial we will be combining two audio sources through something called a sound mixer. The combined audio stream can then be played out to a headset or pair of speakers. Since this guide is not using software tricks or anything like that, it can't be killed by some kind of Xbox update. And that means that this process of combining multiple audio sources will always work. One more thing, I also just want to say that although I will be as quick as possible with this guide, I do want to be thorough and take the time to explain things so that nobody gets lost in the process. You do not have to be a veteran audio engineer to complete this project. Really, anyone can do this. With that brief explanation of the process out of the way, let's talk about the equipment we're going to need to pull this off correctly. Unless you already have some of this stuff laying around the house already, this project is going to cost you about $45. Keep in mind that a link will be provided in the description below for every item in this guide. First and foremost, you are going to need a sound mixer, and preferably one that has stereo capability. Now before you get intimidated, I should explain that this is the biggest and most important item you're going to need, and it only costs about $30 brand new on Amazon. This is the Nady Audio MM242. It is a four channel stereo mixer. Any similar item will work, but I highly recommend this one because it is very cheap, quality built, works in stereo, and has full volume control capabilities. For the price, I really don't think you're going to find a better option. Aside from that, it will be the unit that I am using in this tutorial, so it should be even easier for you guys to follow this guide. You are also going to need three of these stereo breakout cables. This item adapts 1 8 inch auxiliary cable and splits it into a left and right channel. What's more important here though is that it converts an eighth inch plug into a quarter inch plug that this sound mixer will receive. You will need two eighth inch auxiliary cables of appropriate length, but anything over six feet is probably unnecessary. For our primary source of audio, your Xbox One's TV or monitor must have a line out. So look on the back or side panel of your TV or monitor for a black or green colored eighth inch jack just like this one. Most modern screens will have this feature as a standard. If you have multiple or are having trouble locating one, consult your device's operating manual. As our secondary source of audio, we will need an iPod or any other kind of device that can output audio through an 8th inch auxiliary. And finally, we will need a pair of headphones or speakers so we can actually hear what's coming out of the sound mixer. Okay, so now that we've covered everything you're going to need for this project, let's start assembling our equipment. Insert an 8 inch auxiliary cable into the line out jack of your TV or monitor. Plug the opposite end of this cable into one of the breakout cables. Now plug each quarter inch end of the breakout cable into the input slots of input 1 of the sound mixer. The reason that there are two quarter inch cables is because we are working in stereo, which uses two different channels, a left and a right. With the quarter inch cables of input one firmly in place, let's repeat this process for our second audio source, the iPod. Plug our second eighth inch auxiliary cable into the headphone jack of the iPod and connect the other end into another breakout cable. Again, plug each quarter inch cable into the sound mixer. This time, plug them into the slots of input two of the unit. Now with both our primary and secondary audio sources connected to the sound mixer, we can connect our output device. For this example, I'll be using a headset. So now we connect our headset or speaker's eighth inch cable into the last remaining breakout cable. Plug these quarter inch cables into each of the output slots on your sound mixer. Now that we have correctly assigned all of the inputs and outputs on our sound mixer, it is time to power the device and start mixing. With all volume knobs set to zero, turn your sound mixer on. The MM242 is powered by a 9 volt battery or a 9 volt DC plug, both of which are sold separately. So add that to the shopping list if you're planning on using this particular sound mixer. Now turn on your Xbox One and load any game. Next, turn on your iPod and play any song on repeat. Then put on your headset, or if you're using speakers, make sure they're powered on and turn the volume up. The Nady Audio MM242 has separate volume knobs for left and right channels, both for each input and for the output as well. Volume dial A adjusts the volume of the right side and volume dial B adjusts the volume of the left side. Typically you want to keep left and right balanced, so adjust the volume knobs in pairs. For example, if we want to change the volume of input one to 
move both dial A and B to the 50% line. As a starting mark, let's set our game audio volume to 50% and our iPod volume to 50% as well. Okay, so now we have audio feeding into the mixer from our game and our iPod. To hear this mix stream, turn your output dials to the appropriate volume, and again, remember to set the volume in pairs. In this example, I set my A and B volume dials to 70%. At this point, you should be hearing both your music and your game audio at the same time. But if you're not hearing one of your inputs, make sure that the volume is turned up on both your iPod and on your TV or monitor. That should fix the issue. If you are hearing both audio sources at the same time, you will probably notice that it's not quite perfect yet. The game audio could be louder than the music, or vice versa, and so to fix that problem we will need to adjust the volume knobs of either input 1 or input 2 until we find that proper mix. Now this part is suggestive because it depends on what kind of mix you would like. Some people would prefer to hear their game volume louder than their music, and some people would like to hear their music louder than their game volume. So play with the knobs and find a mix that you like. Once you have found that perfect ratio between game volume and music volume, you're done. You can finally listen to your game audio and music without having to choose between the two or stacking headphones. Two audio sources combined into one mix, playing through one pair of headphones. I hope you have found this tutorial useful, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them right below this video in the comment section, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I'm Frankie Seshi, and I'll see you later.